All right, ladies and gentlemen, from your left to your right, we have Jamico Werner, head coach Lewis Wilson, and uh, Cayman Pruitt. Coach, if you'd start everything off with an opening statement. Yeah, sorry for being late, guys. Uh, we have some young men that uh, obviously don't feel real good. Uh, some careers have ended. Uh, people that I love, care about, you know, I want to take the time that they deserve for us to talk about the things that are important. So we apologize for being late. Uh, Metro State deserves all the credit in the world uh, for what they did. Uh, they played hard. Coach Clark had them ready to play uh, uh, way too much of Reggie Evans for us today as a story. Uh, the young man did a great job of attacking the basket, and, uh, making easy plays for them, and then he gave his team a lot of confidence through his play. Uh, and I think that opened up the proverbial floodgates for guys to get shots in the second half. It was really difficult for us uh, to plug in one hole. Uh, and dealing with Evans, and then all of a sudden you have guys out on the perimeter spacing away and creating some shot opportunities. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes, uh, and we realized that on both ends of the floor, defensively not doing a very good job of containing the basketball offensively, probably trying to do too much, uh, trying, to, trying to do too much because our hearts are in the right places, but sometimes uh, we don't make very good mental decisions. Uh, when, you, when you try to give 110%, uh, that means you're trying to give more than you actually have to give, and I thought we went through a stretch in the second half where that happened. Uh, as far as the end of the game and the effort we gave, uh, I think, you know, that's our brand. That's been our brand for two years. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken sells chicken. We play hard. Uh, we get after it. I, I wouldn't expect anything less than for us to play until the final horn sounds. That's what our young men did. Uh, that's a reflection of their character. We had guys who came off the bench like John Jackson and, and Shahid Young who played really, really hard for three minutes and we almost we had a shot to, you know, tie the game. Uh, those, those young, that's a reflection of those young men, and I expect nothing less. So I want to tip my hat to, to Metro State, particularly Reggie Evans and what he did for his teammates, and then for those kids to get on board on his back, because he, he said, get on my back, boys, and he, and he carried it. But I, I have nothing but praise for my kids as well. Uh, I love them, particularly this young man to my right. I've never coached in my whole life uh, anybody, uh, especially as Jimmy Coverter, and, and I probably could coach 50 more years and probably never will. So. That will open it up for questions. Coach, what about the uh, difference in fouls uh, and uh, points at the line? 28 for them, 15 for Adam State. Actually, I shot them from the field by five field goals. That happens with us a lot. You know, um, we'll just have to keep trying to get better as a team and try to teach our kids to play without fouling. I guess uh, you know that's going on for two years. I think some of it's just a product of aggressive play. Uh, you know, and I, you know, I certainly don't begrudge the referees. I think, for the most part, you know, uh, they do a better job refereeing than we do playing and coaching. Uh, but that's a tough game to referee. You have two teams playing 94 feet. You have athletes going at the basket. Uh, it happens. But for us, that's that's you know, it happens to us quite a bit, particularly when we don't win games. Uh, there's quite a disparity at the line. Part of the disparity for us is that we don't shoot free throws very well. Uh, and, and so sometimes I pray we don't get fouled. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. And uh, again, you know, this is about Metro State. They did a great job. It's about Reggie Evans being a real MVP and a warrior tonight. Uh, and it's about a team over here that I'm very, very proud of uh, that played their guts out. And, and then, you know, that's where it's at. You, you say that's your brand of basketball, kind of, I don't know what you call it, but little helter skelter out there. Yeah, I, I don't know what to call it either. If you come up with a name, you let me know. It, 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 you know, we get after it defensively. We pressure. Uh, we take some chances. Uh, you know, I got uh, basketball's version of Paul Mario over here to my, my right. He, you know, I don't know where he's going about half the time, and neither does his teammates, but he makes a lot of plays. He's the defensive player of the year in our conference. Uh, we don't sit back on our heels. We try to go make plays. And when you do that, sometimes you, the, the high risk stuff, you, you know, you might, might have a collision every now and then, might have a ball bit. It's all, our, our games are very, very difficult to officiate. Uh, you call it helter skelter, I'll call it organized chaos. Uh, you know, uh, because it is organized, it is stuff that we work on and we practice every single day. And, it, and I think sometimes it makes us really, really difficult to play against. We have the capability of beating anybody we play, including ourselves. Did, uh, did you feel it got a little too chaotic there when they built the, they got, they got their lead up to about nine, ten points there in the second half. It seemed like a lot of mistakes at that time. No question. Um, that's where I thought we tried to do too much. Uh, 
uh, I thought we got into a situation where, you know, you want to win. These kids, the only young men have played, they, they practiced every day for us at 6 in the morning. Uh, you know, you're up every day, you're doing everything you can to hold on to your career. You see it slipping a little bit. So, you know, maybe the ball's a little tighter in your hands. Uh, maybe you're, you're, you're trying to do more things than you should do with the ball. And consequently, you, you're more vulnerable to mistakes. I think that happened. Uh, I give them some credit for it because they built the lead by hitting threes. And then I do think we made the mistakes. I think you've identified it correctly. It got a little chaotic because we tried to do too much on the offensive end. Any questions? You got uh, Coach Bowman here. Almost pulled it out there at the end. I mean, did, did you feel, ever feel you got too far behind, uh, or were you always confident that you could get back in? I'm always confident with this team because I'm coming back and, and win the game. Uh, if I didn't, there's no point in me playing. But uh, I had great confidence on coming back. I thought we were definitely when JJ and Shaheed make them big three pointers. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought we were gonna come back. I always had faith in my team. We've been down before and we've been fighting the whole year together, so. Any more questions? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.